You're listening to the Pittsburgh Pile Driver. What the hell is that? Podcast. Mary had a little lamb. Her fleece was white as snow. But then I killed that lamb and I ate it for dinner. Now its fleece is bloody red. I'm going to get that Szechuan sauce, uh, Morty. Okay? It's the Pittsburgh Power Driver Podcast. None of what was just said has any pertinent information on what we're going to talk about this evening. It's just a little icebreaker so that once we start talking wrestling, you'll know sometime in the past uh, there was a hole of justice. Uh, Beef the Legend is here. Poot the Bard is here. Ransom the Madman is here. Tiger Bomb Tom is out. Uh, he's off in the weeds. He's off in the wind. Uh, pissing into the wind. Uh, I don't know. Fact he's out and about. Pisser. I think, yeah, I'm probably. I think he's plotting the demise of allegedly Dave in order to uh, ooh, ooh, uh, bring the Choose Away title home. So I think Tom is in his underground lair plotting planning and uh something sinister is uh is coming dave's way i feel like uh you better say your prayers and eat your vitamins because oh dearie me uh so we didn't do a show last week so we do have to talk about uh the backlash of wrestlemania backlash and the backlash from what was the backlashiest pay-per-view Post WrestleMania, which is why it was WrestleMania Backlash, right, guys? Nah, we don't have to. I okay. Uh, All right. Well, uh, that's it. <laughs> Show them super... everybody. Go home. Let's... No, this isn't how it's supposed to go at all. None of this is working out how I had planned. WrestleMania Backlash happened before the last time we had this show, uh, this week here today. Figure out on your calendar when the fuck that was, because I don't know what I just said. Um, did you guys, first off, watch WrestleMania Backlash? Uh, I did. I mean... Go ahead. Uh, watch is an interesting word. Uh, oh. If... if- if you're going by Ugh. the Merriam-Webster's definition, the Oxford English Dictionary of Watch, I probably Dictionary. didn't. Okay. But I had it on the background, and I caught enough of it to be like, oh, okay, that was cool. Um, and like okay. I recognized that it was a decent event, but to the credit of it being forgettable, I don't remember half the results. So I'm sitting First. here trying to figure out the the choose away standings. I don't, I, I don't, I don't have any clues. So I'm gonna have to look it up. Uh, so it's forgettable, wow. but a decent event. Go figure. Poop, what do you what, what what happened with you? Did you did you let your house on fire? Um no. Okay, good. I why why would first of all I don't have a house. Second of all, uh, do you often do that? Fine. Do you yeah. often you know, light your residences on fire? I mean I, I mean, feel like are, I know you well enough, but Beef said are, that like it's happened before. Do you know how many fires go unsolved in Clearfield? You, no. know how ma- you know how many mouths go unpunched with an attitude like that? I'm just yes. The, hey, come on. Please come down here and punch his mouth. There's, I would not kiss his big old mouth. Oh. Uh, um. So, <laughs> anyway. did you watch WrestleMania Backlash? Backrash. <laughs> Back. Fuck. Backrash. <laughs> oh, WrestleMania Backrash. Uh, the no. um. I oh, no. <laughs> Um, no, I did. I, I, <laughs> I watched it and, um, I enjoyed it. I thought, I thought it was a good show because I went into it with the beefitude. I went into it going, this is going to be seven dicks and they're going to be all flopping oh. and punching you in the mouth. And I don't oh. want that. And I, and oh. I, I figured it was going to be just a hot, sick, oh. stupid mess. However... I really enjoyed it. The only, the only thing, and of course, uh, the only two, like for me, low points Uh-oh. was um, uh, was the was Omos and Bobby Lashley, and even then, oh. that was not as bad as I thought it was going to be. But it was still like of all the the matches, you kind of go, 
meh. You know what I mean, Morty? <laughs> um, but then <laughs> at Madcap Moss and Happy oh, Corbin, God. again, it was just kind of like, it was like, meh. But, dude, Cody Rhodes, Seth Rollins, it was great. It was great. It was a lot of fun. Edge uh, Styles was was fun. And seeing Ooh. having having Rhea Ripley um, debut uh-huh. as the newest member of the Judgment Day, which I still, I don't think I'm going to get sold on that name. I, I, I don't went, think it's the Judgment Day. I think I think it's just Judgment Day, man. No, it's I think the they added, Judgment Day. No, they added the V in front of it. Yeah. Oh, did they really? They did. The Judgment Day. What a piss poor idea. Dude. And- so here's what WWE does is they take away wrestlers' first names, <laughs> and then they, they add them on to stable names. Uh, so. well, and but, but that's the thing is, like, it's not <laughs> like the Undisputed Era. The first time I heard the name The Undisputed Era, I was like, that's dumb as fuck. <laughs> and then it grew on me very quickly. <laughs> oh. Oh, nice. It, it's I'll get the Szechuan sauce. Oh jeez, oh jeez, ransom. The um, but like it grew on me over time, and I really liked it. Undisputed era, like I really liked it. This is one of those things that I can't help when I say the Judgment Day. All I think is, oh yeah, Judgment Day, the pay per view. That's it. Oh, but nonetheless, Rhea Ripley debut being part of that. I love it. Now the mm-hmm. execution on Raw. Meh, but like it, it. I, I'll, I'll talk about that if we get to it. How they, the Edge cutting his promo and like their promo on Raw, the after the after the WrestleMania backlash, backlash, backlash. Um, my my thing. Oh. Is, but then, like Ronda Rousey, Charlotte oh. Flair. I know Beef does not like to give uh, credence to Charlotte Flair at all. That match Creed's was Clearwater. a banger. It was the lo- it was the second longest uh, or third longest match on the card, and it was a banger. It was really Disagree. fun and good. Yeah. Uh what do you think of the uh, the main event? Um, the triple uh, threats. It was it was stellar. It was it was triple it, very very tri- good. Six man tags usually blow. They they usually blow goats. But it was managed and I'm putting, well. And I'm including AEW in this. Like normally, it's just, it's just a bunch of spaghetti on the wall. But like, oh. I I think that they did a really good job of making everybody in there oh. seem like a superstar and a future Hall of Famer, including Riddle. Uh, according to an interview that I heard, sorry to get off track. Um. No, an interview that I read. I read an interview that someone interviewed somebody and then wrote it down, and then I read it. Um, that Randy Orton was quoted as saying that Riddle is is uh, a future WWE champion, like he wholeheartedly believes that. I mean, if he's not, they're doing something wrong. I mean, this but, dude, yeah. But they've already stripped him of his first name, and they've already like leaned into the stoner gimmick way too hard. Um, yeah, but I mean, people have gotten bad gimmicks before and have bounced back. So yeah, he can do it. Like if they, I don't know, if they overdo the stoner gimmick, if he's good enough, he can come back from it. But like he can rebound. People have rebounded from terrible, terrible gimmicks. Agreed. Um. Yeah, let me. I I watched here and there bits and pieces. Of, the uh, equipment match was good. Backlash. Like it, it's it's one of those things when I had it on the background, like I realized when something good was happening, you know, and, and then you start to like start start to notice a little bit. The I quit match was above the level, which is what I expected out of the WrestleMania match, and it it just it, it wasn't. So I'm I, I'm glad they had a nice rebound match here, and I'm even gladder the Charlotte uh, Flair is off getting. Uh, you heard me. I, don't sass me from the tablet over there. Um, yeah, my wife is sitting there going, Gladder, you heard me. You all fucking heard me. Okay, that's um, what I said. I said it, yeah. Man, okay. the, uh, vim and vigor. Or vitriol. What, uh, what was I saying? Listen, I, yes, I, I'm even happier okay. that Charlotte Flair is gone. She gone. Is. She, she's she's off still getting fucking married <laughs> and hopefully knocked up. And fucking, More plastic surgery. I don't care, man. Like they could 
<sighs> Whatever, man. Just keep her off TV. Every time I see her, she looks different. Every single time. She hasn't looked you're, the same. Beef, you're back in, in the in workforce, and I can already hear the fucking, like, oh, God, life, everything's awful. Yeah, right? So, listen. Uh, I thought the NJJ Styles match was really good. I missed the six-man tag. My bad. Uh, I missed the Omos uh, Blashley match. Not broken up about it. Don't think you can call him that. I can, and I will, and I didn't, I could, and I wouldn't, I have. Um, of course, we've already said WrestleMania backrash, so, you oh, know. Oh, Jira. Um, we're, yep, okay. It's been, been, been a good do? run. What are they going to do? Yeah, they're just words. Shut up. Stop being, these are jokes. They're jokes. Bunch of pussies. Um, I don't, I can't, I can't with Charlotte Flair. I, it, look, this isn't. I, this isn't beef level salt and hatred of Charlotte Flair, where it's just like, I don't like her. She needs to go away. Her dad took his dick out on all the airplanes. Like, oh, blah, blah, blah. I don't, I don't see what everybody sees with her. She looks slow and awkward. And... The, the moves that she takes looks look forced. There's just, there's something about her in the ring. And it's not one of those things where it's like, well, she was in the ring with someone really good. She would look really, I don't know. Uh, no, I've seen her in the ring with all of the people that look really good. And, you know, hopefully Beef's sitting down. But like, I've seen her in the ring with Sasha Banks. And you could probably argue that Sasha Banks is probably one of, if not, you know, one of the best female wrestlers in WWE performance-wise in the ring. I've seen Charlotte Flair in the ring with her. And each and every time, it just, it looks like Charlotte Flair's buffering a little bit. Where, like, she's not choppy, but it's, it, it's the, like she her hesitant. CPU speed hasn't caught up with what she's trying to do like she's she just looks like she's buffering especially when she runs into the turnbuckle oh 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 my gosh and i just i can't i can't with her i don't think she's a good wrestler and sorry a lot of people probably think she is my fucking bad but that's my opinion and you can eat me i don't think she's a good wrestler i don't see it she looks awkward and weird and i don't know if it's just i don't know if it's the flesh trying to catch up with the momentum of the plastic like i don't know what it is it's just not good i don't like charlotte flair i don't think she's good i'm happy she's gone um and not to piss on the ronda rousey match like i think ronda rousey could probably put on a good match especially in i quit match she's a freaking mma fighter uh but Charlotte just she blows goats. Horrible. If if That's you're it. waiting for arguments, it's not going to happen. Uh, I no, I mean it's just I, we've talked about it before though. Like you have had good things to say about her in ring work. It's just I don't see it. I don't. I, I think she's mediocre she's in the ring at best. The the problem she is she probably has improved. But like w compare her to other people. Oh no, I agree. Oh, the, just mediocresville all day. The problem is that she has that it factor. Like she, you know, she steps out on stage and and she's a star and she knows it and the people know it. And you know, I, I don't know if it's the fucking genes of her father. I don't know if it's the millions that she's sunk into plastic surgery. You know, I, I don't know. But like, you know, she carries herself like she knows her damn worth, and that. <sighs> You know, that's the it factor, man. And it sucks because, you know, we, we can all agree that there are many people out there who should be where she is or she shouldn't be as high as where she is, things like that. But, I mean, at, at the end of the day, you know, you know, if, if, she, if she were to go to AEW, and I know that this is not going to happen, at least not for any time soon. 
it would be a big get for them. It would be a superstar signing, and their women's division would immediately be better. Uh, better in the ring? Not necessarily, but would it have more spotlight? Mm-hmm. Would they get a ratings bump? Probably. And I hate to admit every last bit of that, but, I, uh, you know, like... I need you to answer you one question for me. Yes. Is... If everything about her, her look, her work, her mic skills, if that was all the same, all of that the same, only her name was Ashley Simpson. Pick a non-famous name. The, um, uh, Car- um, uh, Jessica, Ruth, Jessica Ruth, Ginsburg. Ruth Fitchell. Ruth Fitchell. Oh, Ruth Fitchell. I like Ruth Fitchell. If that was her name, would she have any of this? Yes. Yes. I disagree wholeheartedly. She would not have all of it. But if she grew up being a wrestling fan, you know, uh, in, in the shape that she is, training like she has, with the look that she has, and the swagger that she has. Now, here's the thing, though. Like, that swagger that's built in is 100% a flair thing. Like, a fucking Fitchell's, and forgive me if there's a fucking Fitchell listening, is is is, is not going to carry themselves around like no, a fucking Fitchell. player. Um, she, you know, I, I don't think she, like, there would be no big get for AEW getting her if her name was Ashley Fitchell. Yeah, but None. I, that would, that so would I, not be a big two. That would be I, nothing. I'm saying that I think that she would be successful. I don't think she would be as successful, but I think that she would still be a prominent piece of the women's division. She would not be a figurehead of the women's division. She would not be a, uh, you know, the, the, the diamond that she likes to call herself. But, like, I, I think that I she would still be I don't think the whole, like, AEW thing would be, like, she probably wouldn't even be on their radar. Or if she was... Her going there, people would be like, oh, look, Ashley Fitchell went to AEW. Oh, that's pretty cool. Done. End of it. It's Maybe. the last name. It's the last name. That's what gets her to where she is. She's a flair. Everybody knows Ric Flair. He takes his dick yeah. out on airplanes. He sexually assaults ladies. That's Ric Flair. Everybody knows who he is. So yeah. she's the daughter of this guy, which means stardom, star power, fame, fortune. Everybody needs her. She's, ca- she's riding on that name. And sooner or later, it's going to catch up and people are going to go, oh, uh, okay. So I, I don't think, think she's can, going to get better enough. I think that you can make the same argument the other way, though. I what? think that you could say if she was, uh, you know, like a Sasha Banks or a Naomi or a, an Oscar even, where she was a prominent figure in the women's division as like Ashley Fitchell or whatever the hell her name would be. I don't think that she would get near the fucking hate that she gets now because she wouldn't be a flair. People wouldn't be pissed off that she's being pushed because she's a flair. People wouldn't be pissed off that she's given preferential treatment of other talents because she's a flair. I think all of that would, would, so, I mean, you know, that door swings both ways. I really think though, like if, 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 if she had no lineage to Ric Flair and she talked the way she talked, she acted the way she acted, she wrestles the way she wrestles. Yes. Uh, you know, I mean, look at look at Lacey Evans. No, no, no shade to her, but I think that she is very reminiscent of a Charlotte Flair. Um, and barring a a, a pretty pretty big uh, you know injury and a couple of uh, couple of setbacks, like I think that she is definitely like in their plans moving forward. Um, so yeah, like I, I, I 100% believe that, you know, Charlotte Flair would be successful without being the daughter. I, 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 again, assuming that she carried all of those traits that she has now, which again, I don't think she would because that swagger is 100% a Flair thing. Um, but you know, we'll, we'll never know. It's, 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 it's too bad because, you know, like it or not, they are handcuffed. They are shackled. They are, you know, one and the same. Um, just like fucking. Well, 
I, 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 I guess I, I was going to say the Rock and 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 you know the High Chief and 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 Rocky and Rocky Johnson, but I don't think that's the case. I think that the Rock worked himself out of that shadow. Um, mm-hmm. Cody and Dusty is, is is another great example. I think that they are going to be shackled, much like Sh- Charlotte and her father are. Uh, in an ironic twist of fate, being you know the flares and the roses, um, but yeah, like I, you know, that's that's just that's the nature of the business. People love a second generation athlete. People love a third generation generation athlete. Generation. They love this. They they love to see lineages in any sport, man. Like football goes gaga over people's sons, and you know, like people love that shit. He's a second, you know, his father played a blah, 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 or his, you know, this, that, and I, you know, like, yeah, it's a cool story. Cause you know what? People like stories because at the end of the day, sports, while they are wonderful things, if they ain't got the stories, no one's watching them. Story, bro. It, that's what kids say, right? Some kid, some kid somewhere said that once. I mean, like four years ago. Damn it. Um, yeah. What a, damn it. What a terrible way to live. Not knowing what's cool and hip. I don't know. I hate uh, nah, I hate Charlotte Flair. Hey, do you think they trademarked that WWE? Charlotte Flair. Yeah. Hundred percent. Well, so she is going to be uh, Ashley Finchel when she goes to AEW. <laughs> I think she'll be Ash- uh, Ashley Flair. She can legally use her last name, um, be- if if she spells it the right way. Um, it, it won't be F L A I R, but you know she'll be able to to spell it the, the weird way. But yeah, I mean, and that'll still be that'll be interesting. It'll be weird. It'll be weird because for sure. It's yeah, it's still pronounced flair, maybe. Uh Ish. flair. Whatever. But again though, that's it's that perception thing. Like she's not Charlotte Flair like she was in WWE. If she goes over here, she's gonna be actually Fleer. Is that Is she going to be able to woo? Like, is that going to be, is that intellectual property of WWE? Can she even woo? That's, those are, those are some gray areas, man. Yeah. Is she going to be able to come out in those robes? The robes aren't going to say flair anymore. They're going to say Finchel. I think I'll probably just say the queen, honestly. Like, well, you're tell- there's no way they haven't trademarked that. Uh, I mean, you can't trademark the queen. That's in, like, in, in the essence of, wrestling slash sports entertainment why couldn't you no no way man that's that's way too fucking broad like uh, we'll see you there there are like rules for trademarking and like you can't do you don't think they like trademarked that the this Piper? isn't nom man there are fucking rules like you don't you don't think wwe trademarked the viper for mm-hmm. randy orton you don't think so i bet they fucking did Maybe. I don't uh, know. I, I sure as hell bet they did. You know what they haven't trademarked is Mercedes. Who? Mercedes. Mercedes, yeah. Who the hell is speaking, that? Speaking uh, Sasha. Yeah. Uh, I'm speaking. Tra- that yeah, was her okay. name. Yeah, man. No, no, that, that's a real name. Mercedes Var... Var I can't back in that. I don't know the last name. Varla Kaluga. It's, it's like or something. That's not, not Finchel. Shut up, it is. I like Finchel. Oh, yeah, what, what? yeah, we all like uh, it, Beef. Why can't you get on board with this? That's a, <laughs> Jeffrey Finchel. That's his name, I call a, it. That's a, that's, that's, that's a segue. It's ruined. You've you've ruined my segue, you. Oh, take so, that. Put that in your Finchel and smoke so, it. I was going to say, we, we've talked about Finchel enough. So, oh. what, Beef, what's the, what's the segue here? You, the scuttlebutt. I feel like Ransom has like some sort of like mental disorder where he fixates on like one thing just to like get a rise out of me for an hour and then he just like puts it out of his brain. Like fucking WrestleMania backlash. Fucking well, Finchel. Well, I'm not doing my <laughs> tasks, so figure it mm-hmm. out. <laughs> hey, you fucking know. Yeah, so um <laughs> there's a <laughs> there's a there's there, there's a doings. Um a Sasha, Sasha Banks, aka Shawn Michaels, aka Bret Hart, has taken her ball and went home. Steve and again, Austin. Steve Austin. Excuse me. Yep. Yep. 
uh, as as all their great ones do. Um, this time, I you know, in, in my opinion, for a more uh, uh, righteous reason. Uh, so he okay. Here's 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 the scuttlebutt. Here's what I know. Here's what I've read. Sasha and Naomi show up on Raw on Monday. Monday. They're told. They're told, hey, we're doing a six pack challenge. You two, uh, <laughs> Dewdrop, Nikki Ash, uh, Be- Becky Lynch, and Oscar. They say, can we just like get in and, and like, and they're like, hey, Naomi's going to win. She's going to challenge Becky Lynch. Sasha, you're going to go to SmackDown and get in the program with Ronda Rousey. Okay, good, great, awesome. But yep. they say, all right, but we're the women's. <laughs> And, and Naomi was supposed to pin Sasha. And they say to creative, but we're the women's tag team champions. You guys made a point of saying, hey, let's make you guys a great team. Let's have you guys win at WrestleMania. Let's have you guys, you know, let's let's revitalize this tag women's tag team division, which is going to take a lot. And they're like, you know what? We're on board. Let's go. Let's get it. Well, now, a month after WrestleMania, they're like, well, actually, we're probably just going to go a different direction, split you guys off, and, you know, have you face. And which, you know, are is, is a great spot, but, but their it's a thought process is... It's a really it hard left turn. And, and their thought process is, hey, we're committed to making these tag titles work. Let us do it. Can't we face, you know, can't we move into a... Um, a program with Nikki Ash and Dewdrop. No. Okay. Well, it's stupid and we hate it. Here are our belts. They took their tag team title belts to Johnny Ace's office. Johnny Ace. Have a good day. Walked out with suitcases. Um, WWE proceeded to bury them on television. Uh, Corey Graves mentioned two or three times how they went home, how they quit, blah, blah, blah. Took their ball, etc. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And, um, you know, Corey, Corey Graves is a great fucking mouthpiece for that. He's he's just slimy enough to get away with that being <laughs> fucking Vince McMahon's worms, or words and worms. Um, oh. Uh, and, and, and allegedly, they, uh, they sought counsel with the great fucking high Hrothgar god himself Vince McMahon and he said no we're doing it my way so they went home is enough WWE put out a statement saying that they didn't feel comfortable working with uh, two of the people in the match that they felt that they were going to get injured which is a bold faced lie uh, WWE killed and murdered kayfabe on that very day by putting that on social channels saying despite rehearsing their match for 8 hours murdered dead like fucking wearing its face. Vince McMahon is wearing Cave Fabe's face, going around going, You'll believe what I tell you to believe. Ha ha ha. And, uh. Poor Jim Cornette had a heart attack. Oh my god. I. I this I motherfucker! They killed Cave Fabe on this day! Me, me. So, uh, to, to, to reiterate, WWE reneged on what they wanted to do with the tag team. Uh, Sasha and Naomi stood for their principles, which I uh, have a lot of backing, honestly. Uh, they walked out on the show the day of, leaving them to scramble. In fact, I think like they walked out like damn near eight o'clock. So like the 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 main event wasn't set until like quarter past uh, eight o'clock. Like they, they had to do their first segment before they could figure out what the main event was. Um. And, uh, yeah, that's kind of, and then kind of, e- everything's been quiet since then with like little things trickling out about what's happened. So there is the skinny. Let's hear you fellas take on it. <laughs> Not everybody wants. I, well, <clears throat> see, the, the thing <throat> is, this is the second time that, <clears throat> so, that this is the second time that Sasha Banks has kind of done this. Mm -hmm, Um, mm -hmm. And I, I, the thing is, I feel like she might think that she's invincible. I really do. I feel like she might think that she 
because she did it once, she's like, no, I'm going to be fine. Everything's fine. And, and like, and, and that's fine. Stand Everyone should stand up for their, for their feelings and beliefs and, and things like that. They should. But like, I mean, if you, you want to go to AEW, cool. You want to go to impact. Cool. You want to go to row. Cool. You want to go to Japan. Nice. But like, don't b- fucking burn every bridge that you're walking away from. Scorching. Like I, 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 I just, I don't know. I uh, Sasha Banks is incredible, and she's entertaining, and she's a great talent. But not everyone has the stroke and the sway of like you know The Rock or Shawn Michaels. Yeah, like, but didn't. Cody Rhodes just walk away from a smoldering fucking like city of bridges when he went to AEW. Like, wasn't his first several pay per view matches basically like, and I, and he took several pot shots on the mic at WWE. Like he He's basically the, left them the for score earth. He basically left them for score earth, and Vince brought him back. You know why? Because Vince likes money. Because Vince likes business, and Vince likes money. I sorry, I, I uh, to interject. You I, know, I, just, I know just, that, just but like the thing is, I feel like as much vitriol as you have for uh, Charlotte Flair, I feel like you have the com- like literally the opposite end of the spectrum love for for Sasha Banks because I, she's the I, best women's competitor today. Fucking I, you oh, know. whoa, 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 whoa! I ahead. don't, I don't believe that. Who's better? Uh, Britt Baker, the Raven. Arcadian. Fuck. Britt Baker. Who? Even though she's still green, no. give her. No, give, she's way too green. Give her no. Give her a little bit more time. Jade Cargill. Give her a Jade, little more be time. Be on her level. Uh, give, yeah, but you're saying give them a little bit more time. No, right but like the now. Yeah, but even today, right now, you are accounting for every single one. And beef. I'm I'm sorry. The only reason that I'm saying that I'm giving you that I'm giving you this pushback on this is, be- dude, Bianca Belair. I think she's Bianca, good, but she's I, not on soft level. I beg to differ. I beg she's, to differ. She's if, almost as good on the mic. At, at, she has she has about as good as character, but she's not near as good in the ring. At she minimum, is way sloppier than Sasha Banks is in the ring. At and minimum, I, I won't hear that. At minimum, I think she's as good as Sasha. I do. I th- I think I think that she's that, that that she's probably the next closest right now. Becky Lynch, uh, if, if you make an argument for Becky Lynch, I'll go okay. I I will cede that Becky Lynch and Sasha are probably on the same tier. The next tier below would be your Rhea Ripley's, your Oscars, your Bianca oh, Belair. Ho, ho, ho. Like people who will get there. Uh, and and uh, the the problem with Oscar is obviously. Her ink, she can't cut a promo. That's a problem. Like you can wear all the goofy masks you want. You could be, you could be a goddess in the ring. No pun intended. But yeah. until you can, it, until you got those promo skills, man. It, you know, it, it is what it is. You she know? has, she has the promo skills. It's just, you know, because she's not fluent in, in English. Yeah, That's I know. Fine. That means she has it. She has the whole package. It's when Kenny Omega was regarded as the greatest wrestler on the planet, he was cutting promos in fluent Japanese. Kenny Omega is is on a whole Oscar different level has than the been, re- I agree, but Oscar's been in the United States for probably over ten years. I I put a um, little more put a little more get, get our language or get it. No. Nope, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying that she's not going to have that connection that Becky, that Sasha, that B- Bianca, that Naomi, that that anybody has because again, she can be great in the ring, and we know she's great in the ring. She has a great look, yes, but until she can make that connection and say something more than nobody is ready than us, Os- nobody's ready for Oscar. It's going to be a problem, dude. I just say I I I'm sorry. I think you just. So I'm not saying so- I don't like Sasha. I like Sasha. I, I just think you give you. her I, you give her way too much credit. I have I have boss blinders on. I agree, but oh. I think that oh. the majority of the wrestling community would agree that Sasha Banks is the 
best right now. Barring stardom, stardom is different. Stardom is like a, a different thing. Um, you know, the the, uh, the the Josies in Japan are their own thing. They're really fucking incredible. But like stateside, like major wrestling, Sasha Banks is the top. Is Britt Baker almost there? Yeah, she could be. With a couple more years, will Jade Cargo be there? Maybe, if she continues to be great with her craft. But right now, you know, fucking Sasha is, you know, Hulk Hogan in, in Hollywood. You know, she's fucking The Rock, at, uh, you know, in, in, in 98. She's Austin in 99. Like, she is at the pinnacle, I think, for women right now. All right, I'm Somebody not... Made, I'm not... So, I'm not somebody, and I, and I for, for, forgive me. He he he's a he's a he's a celebrity of some sort. But he made a post saying that the WWE needs Sasha Banks more than than Sasha Banks needs the WWE, and I think that's absolutely true. I I I'm not gonna keep pulling at this thread because, frankly, I'm I like it. It's it's trying to push a boulder up a hill. So I'm I'm not gonna pull this thread anymore. Well, you My you haven't point, come up with a good argument against it, man. I like, did like, I like because you're post. sitting here and you're saying that all these other women that have put on <coughs> bangers and are and are incredible. Like like you look at okay, look at Oscar's time in NXT. I defy you to find a like dog shit match she did. Like did I, Oscar main event WrestleMania? Let, no, Oscar did not main event WrestleMania. But the thing is, if you're going like, oh, her match was at WrestleMania, yeah. Like I, I, I just think, I, I think the problem is everyone oversells her, and the thing that you think. When you when they said that Sasha WWE needs Sasha more than Sasha needs WWE for her own personal career, you're right. She could go anywhere in the world and make a great living and keep doing her thing and have more creative control. Nifty. You could say that about a lot of wrestlers that are in WWE right now. Like my my thing is, no matter what, the WWE train will keep rolling they will have they still have becky lynch they have been i guarantee you if sasha banks doesn't come back to wwe they don't reach some kind of agreement or whatever bianca belair is going to step into that role and in my opinion do it better fight me like i i think she will she is the est and I, I really think that she can step into that role and do it we have never seen her work heel i feel like the best faces and the best, like, you know, ambassadors or whatever for that thing are the best. Heel. Well, fuck. I mean, if they would decide to do something with her, I think Bailey is better than Sasha. Or, it, no, okay, that was a little bit of an overstep. I'm going to say she's as good as Sasha. I would put her on the same level as, as Becky Lynch and Sasha. Yes. I, well, I, that, so that's the, the thing. The, is they have all these other tools. And just because you're a ball peen hammer doesn't mean that other hammers can't do the job. Like that's that's my my point. Because you're unique doesn't mean that you're special. Like I, I'm I, I'm sorry. To Poot, put her on you, the level. Hammers? You, Poot, Poot, you wandered way into the weeds, buddy. I'm saying that she is the best and I believe that she is the best and, and, and it, it, it is objective 100% Becky and Bailey are both in that conversation as well I, I, I will not begrudge you or anybody else who wants to say that I'm just saying I'm that simply offering up that if, 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 if Mercedes decides to leave WWE she will have zero problem making a boatload of cash anywhere else and anywhere else she goes make that women's division legit Yo, well, pun intended well no and she will and maybe that's what the wrestling world needs maybe they need her to get away from wwe because then it'll force wwe to use their other talent but my point is I, I, frankly i'm 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 not going to lose sleep or be sad and i don't think Anyone will that she's gone from WWE because she'll. I think she'll do better elsewhere. I do too. Here, here's the thing, Poot. I, I, I want to hear. And and yeah, you, 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 you made the point that this is the second time she's done it. I agree. <coughs> Last time it was stomping her feet and crying and being a petulant child. That's is not up for debate. That is a fact. This time is not that. This time, it is, this time it is too. No, that's fuck. No, okay. You know what? I here we go. All right, all right, all right, all right. 
What did, what'd you say, Wait, Ransom? Hold on. He said disagree. I said disagree. They said to Sasha and Naomi, you guys are going to be in title <laughs> matches at, at Hell in the Cell. Not mired in the mid card. You're going to both be in title matches. They both said, "Great, we appreciate the fact that you value us as singles competitors, but we're a tag team." And I'm not going to say that they're Axe and Smash, okay? I'm not going to say that they're fucking Red Dragon. I'm not going to say that they're the Young Bucks, but I'm saying they had chemistry. They had a look. It felt like they were a decent team. And I think they had a point to say, we don't want your singles pushes. We want to be pushed to the tag team. So, okay, I, I in, in a way, I guess they were stomping their feet and complaining, mm -hmm. but, it's, but it's not because they weren't being pushed high enough on the card. In a way, it's because they were being pushed too high on the card. Mm-hmm. But 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 that's but that's principles, man. Like they said, hey, you know, for, for the exact same reason that FTR said, fuck this place. Because they're like, you know what? We are tag team wrestlers. NXT was promised to be the you know the the the, the messiah of, of, of tag teams. And and it was, and it was a great fucking place. And for a minute, for a minute, it looked like Raw was also going to be just Ooh. a wonderful field of where they could grow wonderful tag teams. And then and then they pissed it away. And they said, "We're a joke here. We're leaving. If you don't fucking value tag teams, we out." And they left. And yes, it's a different situation. I think, but I think they were released anyway. But it's a different situation. Mm -hmm. Oh. oh, oh. When they, but yeah. I, I can't remember. I, it's been a while since I remember. Shoot, what were they? What were? What was FTR and WWE? I can't. The, remember. Revival, um, the revival. Revival. That's it. It's been a while since I remember the revival in the WWE. But refresh my memory. Um, when Vince said, "Hey, we're going to do the back shaving angle," did they? Did they pack their bags and leave, or did they do that angle? I can't. No, remember. they did that angle. Oh, okay. I do remember now. Go on. Because it was the, it was the Usos who walked in on him. He wasn't. He he remembers very clearly. Poot. He's mm -hmm, he's, mm -hmm. he's trying to make a point. And, yep. and I hear you. I'm sorry. I didn't. I, so, you. I didn't soak it in enough sarcasm. My bad. I I hear you, and and I appreciate what you're saying. You don't. I do. I think I, he does. I understand. He does. No, I I I understand what you're saying, and I do appreciate it. But like. <clears throat> I, you know, and, and I feel this way about just in general, like you reward, you reward loyalty with loyalty and vice versa. Now, I, the, the argument that you should be making is, well, WWE has proven that they're loyal to Sasha and that they didn't let her go the first time. So she should be loyal to them. Now, that's an argument that I would go, you know what? It's a good point. But in a business that leaves people, talented people. Tony fucking storm talented people on their ass at the drop of a hat. I, you know, I sure like I, I, I get it. You know, you do what's expected of you. You show up, you do the work, whatever. I, 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 I see both ends of the spectrum. I, I, I truly do, but I do agree that I think that their principles should matter more than a job. Ah, uh, sorry, I had to. I had to spit. Completely unrelated. I think I swallowed a gnat. I swallowed a moth once, and I couldn't there. talk for three days. What the did you say? I'm wrong with you two. Yeah, I've never had anything. I've never accidentally gone hum nom 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 on a moth. That no, I mean, I didn't eat it. Shit. I was, I was, I was standing, and it was, it was, it was at camp. And you know, it was like How nighttime. How fast was the car going when you had your head out the window and the moth flew into it? It was nighttime, and no. we had the lanterns on, and I was, you know, speaking orating as I do, and as I was taking a breath, in, a moth flew in, and and it was gone. That's horrifying. Like I would, you, I I would that's freak fucking out. Nightmare I would. fuel. Yeah, I wouldn't be able to hold it together. Like I'd freak out. I'd have a panic attack. 
I mean, I couldn't literally. I couldn't say anything the next three days because I was talking like this the whole week. Oh I no! Oh, no! no. Yeah. yeah. Oh! Oh, yeah. oh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! That is night. I can't. Okay, can we stop talking about beef and his inhaling of moss? Because I can't. Oh, Have you ever had one fly in your ear? No. Can we? Why? <laughs> Why are we doing this at this moment here in time, presently now? Because we we had the we had to break up the arguing. So, uh, like my but no, I didn't get a chance to have an argument. Yeah, right, argue. Rant, rant and rhythm hasn't has said word one. Here's the thing: I am on the exact opposite side of beef on this. Uh, talent wise, no. Like I I agree with beef. I, I think she's probably the best, if not what top three. Uh, definitely top five, but probably top three uh, talented women's wrestlers that they have on the roster. Like, I can't, there's no argument to be had from me on that standpoint. Like, she's, I, I agree. I agree with Beef on that. She's, she's got the talent. She could back it up in the ring. No questions asked there. Um, the, the, uh, the remix of Take My Ball and Go Home by Sasha Banks. Um, yeah, <laughs> how long has fucking Vince McMahon been doing his Vince McMahon thing? Decades, decades, dec the card is subject to change. Fucking everybody knows that there's, n th that's not an excuse. It wasn't an excuse when Brett did it. It wasn't an excuse when Sean did it. It wasn't an excuse when Steve Austin did it. It's not an excuse when Sasha does it. I see all of those doing it as pretty much the exact same mirror thing. Oh, I don't like this. I'm a bye bye. Go home. Bye bye. That's, that's what I see it as. You told me this. I don't want to do this because now you're telling me this. So I'm going to go home. Sorry, man. Like, sorry if you're not going to get your way. And I don't, you can chalk it up to, well, principles and moralities and bing bong bangs and woo 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 woo's. And, you know, word, your word, your word. You chalk it, spin it however you want to spin it. But the bottom line is the boss tells you, hey, we're going to do something different. You're the employee. You signed a contract knowing full well, full well that when you put your signature on that piece of paper, you can't walk away from it until you fulfill your end. But they can let you go anytime. That's not a secret. If you had a problem with that, you should have dealt with it then and there and not put your signature on that paper. This isn't a surprise. Oh, well, they changed. Vince, Vince said we were going to do this, and now he's going to have us do something different. I don't like it. Me no likey. Bye-bye. home home. No, man, you did the wrong thing. You're in the wrong. You can say principles all you want until the cows come home. If the principles is Vince saying, you know what? We're going to get rid of the women's division. We're going to bring back the divas division and you're going to go out there and have a bra and panties match. Okay. Now I have a different, now I have a different view on things. You walking out, that's principles. Because you signed up to be a wrestler, you didn't sign up to go out there and, and take your clothes off. You're not a stripper. This Big isn't difference. 1997. Big... It's not. Uh -uh. It's not the sable and the cat uh, and all that, you know, horse shit. This is something completely different. You were going to wrestle this person, but now instead you're going to wrestle this person. You're still wrestling. You're still a wrestler. That's not principles. That's, I don't like it. I'm going to go home. And I don't feel like it's any different than any other employee, employer situation. I mean, you can claim that it is by saying, well, they're, they're contractors and wrestling is different and yada, yada. But it really, when you boil it down, it's not. If your employer asks you to do something or changes your job role, they're still willing to compensate you. They're still willing to pay you. But instead of doing A, you're going to do B within the same company, within the same job format, but you're going to do something a little different. You don't like it, and you say, uh-uh, no, -uh, boo-hoo, I go home now. Sure, man, get your ass fired, because that's not how the world works. 
And again, this isn't a shock. This shouldn't be a shock to anybody unless you lived in Serbia where there's no wrestling. You come to the United States and go, hey, me want wrestle or however they talk. Sorry, I don't know how Serbians talk. Maybe they sound like cavemen. I don't know. Okay, if you've never been exposed to that and have no idea what the business is like, maybe you're going to be a little blindsided. Sasha Banks has followed the wrestling business for a very, very, very long time. She knows how shit operates. Um, many a wrestler has had to do matches and gimmicks and things that they haven't wanted to do. And while they might not have wanted to do it, they did it. Some haven't. And I feel like they're in the wrong as well. But I don't know. I, I, ultimately, my opinion means buckus in this because I don't work for WWE. I don't make decisions for WWE. So whatever WWE does, they're going to do. Um, if they bring her back and, you know, bury her a little bit, but then, you know, she pays her, her, her penance and uh, moves back to the top, great. If they release her and she goes somewhere else and makes a buttload of money and brings that company up and elevates them, great. Uh, ultimately, I have no, you know, say in that. And my opinion, honestly, doesn't really mean a whole lot. Um, it's just my opinion on things. Um, but I think what they did was wrong. And uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. I have no idea what the repercussions are going to be. I don't hope that anything bad happens to them. You know, I'm not that kind of a dickhead. Um, I hope that they can come back just like Steve Austin did. Sit down, have a heart to heart with Vince, figure things out, and they get they 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 move on. Uh, you know, hopefully that's the way it goes. If it doesn't, well, just like you guys said, wherever they go, especially Sasha, that company's women's division is going to be all the better for it. Unless she gets into this position where she becomes a habitual stomp her feet and walk away type person. I mean, this is twice now that she's done it. Odds are she'll probably do it again. Maybe not. Maybe in WWE, maybe not. Maybe somewhere else. Who knows? But, you know, when you see a pattern erupt, chances are that pattern continues. I, I think my big problem is there's a difference between knowing your worth and thinking too highly of yourself. Yeah, and I think even knowing your worth too, like if 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 that's the argument, the whole knowing my worth, well then you do the right thing, you fulfill your contract, and that's when you say to them, "Hey, I know my worth. If you don't, I'll go somewhere else. But if you want to sit down and talk about my worth, I'm willing to listen." Like it, it, my argument has nothing to do with them wanting to go somewhere else because they don't think that WWE is doing right by them. If that's the case, when their contract is up, hey, don't re-sign with them. Make me, let, give them the chance. Hear them out. Try to get a lot more money if you can. But if WWE doesn't know your worth, go somewhere else and show them your worth. Hey, you're, that, was, that was very well said, man. I, you know, it's not very often I can be on the polar opposite of an opinion and, and really go, you know what? It was well said, but it, but it was, I, and, and I, and I understand. I, so I, I think the biggest problem is that they're independent contractors that are working on a contract. I think if they had the ability to say, I'm handing them a two weeks notice and be done, I think it'd be a lot better different of, of the story and I, and I hear what you're saying I, and 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 it, it's it's not fair that everything is skewed to one side that like wwe can toss them or anybody else aside that they want to at any given time with no Ooh, excuse me with no you know rhyme or reason you know fucking look at look, look at um parker bordeaux fucking harlan from nxt he was yep. going to be the next Brock Lesnar. Gone. No one Gone. has a fucking clue as to why. Um, you know, it, it, that that sucks. But the reality is that's where 
we are as a country with like big sports corporations. Not just WWE, NFL, NHL, MLB, NBA, they all do the same shit. Where they can say, oh yeah, we're going to pay you $50 million over the course of the next four years. And then, you know, two years in, they're like, you're not living up to what we believed. We're cutting you. Sorry, you only made $20 million. Peace. Like, those, and, and I, you know, again, fucking millionaires, billionaires, people making hundreds of thousands of dollars a year. I, I get that, like, I shouldn't be fucking, you know, the, 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 the knight in shining armor and going, well, that's not fair to them. But, like, I, 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 I you know, I, I always try to think of people first, honestly. But, I mean, and so, yes, I, I, I 100% understand what you're saying, and, and, and I feel you. Um, I, I don't... This is a gray area for right and wrong. For me. For me. And I, and I understand that it's not for you. Um, I... If, if this was... Hey... You know, the women's tag team titles should be main eventing, or we should be featured more prominently over than the singles titles. Okay, yeah, all right. Then, then, then they're being petulant children. This isn't that. This is something where they were offered a chance to both be individual, like in, in individual big time matches. Yes, lose, but still have have an opportunity to bring. You know, oh hey, that's the tag team champions, both in individual big time matches. I don't know, man. Like it, it's it's a very murky situation. Um, and and one thing I know for sure, Naomi's not going anywhere. She's in a no eye, and fucking all Roman Reigns has to do is blink, and she'll be back as part of his crew. I I I'll, I'll guarantee you. Yeah, I almost feel, and it's surprising to say, but it almost seems like she's in a better bargaining position than Sasha is because of, like you said, because with, of the family that she's involved in. With this, and man, you don't want to yeah. piss off Roman Reigns because, you know, ultimately you don't want to wind up pissing off the Rock. Even though The Rock's not an active wrestler, you still don't want to piss off The Rock. I, you know what? Like, you don't want to piss off that family at all. And 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 I know it's time to go to the Mexican restaurant and, uh, and 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 get some tasty treats, but I'll say this: I think that current day, <sighs> all right, I am not misjudging what The Rock is worth. He is a fucking icon in everything he's touched. But current day Roman Reigns as a everyday wrestler is probably. Oh no! Drawing more water than The Rock has a special appearance. Oh, oh yeah, I would agree with that. So, I would, I would agree with that. I I thought you were going to say the current day Roman Reigns at his peak. No, is no, drawing no. more than The Rock did at his. No, peak. nope, nope, nope. I'm I'm saying right now, Roman Reigns as an act is drawing more water in WWE circles than The Rock does. And 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 at the end, like The Rock. Could show up in Hollywood next year and bring them, you know, twenty million more views. Which, you know, no one's buying WrestleMania, so it's not going to fucking matter to Vince McMahon. But my point remains. Right. I mean, like uh, with what you said, though. Like I, what are the odds of that happening, though? You know what I mean? Yes. Like, what are the odds the Rock's going to say, "I'm going to leave Hollywood, where I'm getting all the money, and I'm going to come back to the WWE and risk injury and bodily harm and shortening my lifespan for still a lot of money, but not Marvel money, you know, not Disney money, you know? Uh, so I feel like that's a very good point. He, I, he still may show up on next year's WrestleMania, although he apparently, and, and again, I, I, I know, I know I'm beleaguering everything, but like, apparently um, the the Rock's XFL is like ha, has a deal in place with ESPN and Disney Plus, Disney Plus and ESPN, which is fucking <laughs> yeah, stupid, <laughs> stupid fucking money. Like that, oh, that's, that's stupid all the money. Smart. That's that's so, that's they just gave him a fuck you press. money. Like, like they're not that, they're not paying him anymore. They're just giving him a printing press and saying, all right, just go ahead. Yeah, like and that's. The smartest, and that's what Vince never did. Vince always tried to comp and still compete 
Like, The Rock's like, no, man, let's partner with the NFL. Let's fucking uh-huh. partner with ESPN. Let's partner with Disney. Let's let's get everyone to, and I hate this shit, but everyone together, everyone achieves more. Like, if we can get everybody in on this, we're going to be successful. They're going to be successful. Everybody is successful. All right, yep. Poot, burrito, do it. Go. Ha. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to. I'm gonna talk over it. <laughs> oh no, I'm so sorry. Oh. Oh. You done? Finish kid. Sponsors, Ransom, Casual Gaming Dad, Sean Tischler. Make sure to subscribe. Every subscribe is a vote oh. for for the greatness. All right, bye. Justice. See you in the next episode. Bye. Thanks everybody. Bye. Bye. <laughs> bye. Oh, bye. <laughs>